Good morning! It's not cold, I just got this hat on because I just look good in it. No, seriously, it's a freezing day today. Jack tells me it's minus what? Minus five. Minus five in your car, it says, does yeah. it? Yeah, well, it, it, it's cold. It is cold. So, um, the thing about working, I suppose, working with frost um, and ice and cold weather, uh, should you be mixing cement? But it's how you mix that mortar up and it's how you cover it up and what you do in uh, to take precautions to ensure that your mortar doesn't fail so first thing we're going to do not just for us but what we're going to do we're going to have a little bit of a fire just here because it's good to work in a nice atmosphere but the atmosphere then around here it will just bring the temperature up a little bit just in this localized area okay we know that it's going to drop during the night we know that okay but there's, there's three things that we can be putting in the mix we can, we've got a plasticizer we've got an SBR okay which is a waterproofer so the waterproof is going to ensure because it's the water content that freezes okay and this is when I've talked about earth ram walls and compaction um, you can get strength in compaction where you push the moisture out and if you haven't got the the water you'll get no ice molecules so come and have a look over here so the aim, the aim today, as I said, it doesn't look pretty, but what we have here, we've got some block work, okay? Um, we have got four inch here, but underneath it is nine inch block work, and that's nine inch block work, and you can see, if you come closer, we've got nine inch block work here on the return as well. We've got a recycled uh, scalpings, uh, MOT, sub base, whatever you want to call it, but what we've done, we've mixed that up with cement, which has given it, just got to watch my van because we don't want to hit the mirror, which has given it a lean mix, okay? A lean mix, a dry lean mix. And this has gone off nicely, it's absolutely solid. But what we want to do is, normally with steps, what happens is you get a failure on, behind the step because there's a big void and the sub base drops down. That's why we've, we've done the, the lean mix. It's quite strong, it shouldn't drop anywhere at all, but in the event of a failure, what we're going to do, we're going to put some steel, come and have a look Jack, a little bit closer here for our viewers. So what we're going to do, we're going to put some steel like this and then we're going to put our mortar bed on, that's going to have SBR in it, then it's going to have a waterproofer, and then we're going to drop this down on top of our mortar. So if there was a failure, I nearly sit there, if there was a failure uh, underneath, that the steel is going to hold it up upright in position because it's going to be resting on here, the mortar's going to go through. and. Um, yeah, so hopefully that will work. You'll be able to see, we're gonna use this uh, Brazilian slate. You can see there, we're also gonna use a priming slurry on the back. The thing I wanted to show you is this. If you go down here, Jack, and just look across here now. So what we have here is we've got steel running underneath our lean mix bed here. This is 12 inches thick on this side. On this side, we've got about eight inches thick. We've got some steel in it already. That was to stabilize the ground. So what's gonna happen uh, at a later date is that once we start paving across here, we're gonna be building a wall, okay? It's gonna be a rendered wall with a slate coping on the top. But what we're also gonna do, we're gonna have a new foundation in here, okay? So the new foundation is gonna have steel in it. It's gonna wrap underneath the patio all the way around, okay? So that steel is gonna hold that wall in position. I hope. So it may appear that I'm desperate, like, but um, I'm not. No. I, I've worked with frosty weather before. And if you look at this, this mortar here, this was laid in just as cold weather. That, that is solid, just totally solid. It's not going anywhere at all. But what I was going to point out, you can see on the end slab that it's been exposed to the frost and it's frosty. You can see the damp in it. But if you look at the rest of the slabs over there, you can see where they're dry. So we use the slabs on the inside. So just reduce the water content because there's the water content that freezes. Well, there you are. Jack's putting the uh, primary slurry on. 
Easy Prime, you can see it between Jack's legs. <laughs> it's Easy Prime between his legs. Jack, let's have a smile this morning. <laughs> a nice one. There we are. Nice and thick. So, do you that's going to work, Jack? Put a bit more towards the end, mate, I think. Because that's... Yeah. Let's get this on now. There we are, got the first slab in position. We've got to adjust it for the overhang on this side. We're just getting the tape now to measure over here to see where it comes. Good morning. We're uh, we're back on site and um, had a little bit of a dusting today, but it's not. Uh, if you look at the ground, it's not frozen. So we've got the area we did yesterday. That's covered at the moment. We're going to leave that covered up just for now. But we're going to be working on these steps here now. Um, and because of the size and because of the six-inch six overhang we have at the sides, we're going to have to have a cut through the middle. Okay. We do want to make them the same size because it needs to be in relation to the door and this door is smaller than that door, so. Well, here we are. We've just, Jack just pulled the sheet off now, uh, take the sheet off and we've got our steps going down. But what I wanted to, was to explain is that these risers here, okay, the risers that are holding these on is that we stuck them on with uh mapoi exterior rapid set okay it's absolutely solid the frost hasn't touched that at all in any way and in turn each unit each tread that we've laid is laid on a mortar bed which is going off and gone off nicely but we've also got a slurry mix on the back of here and we've used can you just give me that jack now a minute we've used the um the easy prime that's what we've used for the back some people say that they they mix their their own up but i don't think you can beat this this is it just mixes up nicely it's, it's good isn't it jack yeah. it, it, jack will tell you the easy prime is good isn't it it works perfectly so what we've got on the back of the slabs we've got the easy prime on the back of the riser we've got the um the rapid set uh the, the map I rapid set I'm trying to get all my words out here at the moment it's not freezing today it's, it's a lot more milder than yesterday uh, temperatures have risen up a bit so we've got the tread we've got the risers and each one is slightly different but remember it, that this unit this 3 by 2 is going to hold that in place also when we grind between here that's also going to hold in place so I'm really pleased with this uh, feel really comfortable with this the only thing of course at this time of the year um, you know you are going to get wet and you're going to get a bit of ice because you've got water holding on top of that at the moment but all all is good all is good um if you look over here we've got the first the first unit on so again we've got the unit on we've got the mortar if you look at the mortar here it's over the steel okay the idea about the steel if there was a compromise in in the sub base which remember the sub base in this case is a lean mix okay so the light unit it's not going to drop but if it did if there was a compromise We've got the steel here, okay, to hold it in place, okay, so it won't drop away. So important that you get the steps correct because the last thing you want is steps becoming loose and they can be dangerous. So we've got to crack on. Well, just cleaning the steps off now, and as you can see, they look great, they look neat, they look smart. Uh, but one of the considerations what I was going to do before was whether I put a mould along the front. Now, putting a mould on this product, um, I don't think it's going to be, it won't be hard to do because uh, slate can be quite soft. Um, but I'm not sure whether it's the right thing to do. If you look at that now, it looks nice and clean. You can see the horizons. I don't know. What do you, what do you actually think as the viewers of, of the Green Top Landscape channel? What do you actually think? Should we put a mould on there or should we keep it flat? We've done that one. 
if you have a look over here, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna get a little bit of damp on here now today. I'm not gonna put too much water. We just laid it. We've got this one going up here. We've had a, put a cut through the middle, but that cut in the middle gives us just over six inches either side of the steps, just as what we've got on that side. So um, there you go, it's done. It's Friday, it's 12 o'clock, I believe. So we've finished. If as I said, it's Friday, uh, it's 12 o'clock. We've finished now for the day. So um, it's getting a little bit colder. It looks like snow up here. Don't forget mind if you haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe if you want to if you've enjoyed the channel give it give it a big thumbs up and a like i'd really appreciate that um if you have any questions just go to the website which is www.greentoplandscapes.co.uk or you can just send us an email at info at greentoplandscapes.co.uk have a great weekend and don't forget be safe there you go it's starting to snow now and as i said to you this has gone off absolutely perfect. We can leave that now. Uh, you can see we've got the bottom riser to do, but uh, that will be done later. And we've covered up the second set of steps there now. Got the sub base in, it's all looking good. It's Friday, we've done. Time to go home. <laughs>